Hello, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to solve this problem. This problem comes from this book. And this problem is also under the, it's in chapter 3, question 30. And it's asking, an individual who has automobile insurance from a certain company is randomly selected. Let Y be the number of moving violations for which the individual was cited during the last three years. The pre PMF of Y is this table. Uh, PMF is the probability distribution or the probability mass function of a discrete uh, random variable. So in other words, uh, for every positive value x of the random variable, uh, the probability mass function specifies the probability of observing that value when the experiment is performed. In other words, when at zero, when we when we are at zero violations, this the probability of 0.60 or 60 percent. When the the for one violation, the probability for the individual to have one violation or one yeah one violation is 25 percent. Probability of the individual to have two violations was 10 percent. Three violation 0.05 or 5 percent. Uh, the question A is asking for what is the expected value. Now the expected value has a formula as follow. <clears throat> let's see, let me change. Okay, so the expected value is the sum of all the probability uh, the numbers of violations times its probability I should put x here okay oh, in this case to maintain the same variable as the as the table will be the sum of y and p of y okay All right. so the sum of y probability of y so what I'm gonna do We're gonna do this. So we're gonna do um, zero times zero point sixty, and then we're gonna do plus one times zero point twenty five plus two times point ten plus three times point zero five. <clears throat> so let me get my calculator. So if I do that, So, so this right here is going to give me 0, this is going to give me 25, so when you do all this math, I get 0 0.60, okay? So my probability of that is 0 0.60, or my, I'm sorry, my, uh, my mean or my expected value is 0 0.60 okay now suppose that um, oh what this means is for this person to have well he has a 60 percent his probability of having a, a violation is 60 percent 
Now, the next question is asking, suppose an individual with Y violations incurs, incurs a subcharge of $100 uh, Y square, calculate the expected amount of the charge. Okay. <clears throat> In this case, they're giving us some a different formula. Let's see. In this case, a formula of the expected. Um, excuse me, sorry. The expected value have changed. Now, a formula is as follows. So we want the expected value of this. Uh, okay. So this now becomes this. The sum, oops. So we have the sum of y the y so that formula now becomes y square and we multiply a hundred <coughs> so our regular y becomes y square but everything will stay the same and we will multiply by 100 at the end okay so let's go and do that so we're going to have 100 let me change to black and then we're going to do uh, y square will be zero square 0 0.60 plus 1 square times 0 0.25 plus 2 square times 0 0.10 plus 3 square, sorry about that, times 0 0.05. Okay. So when you do all this math, I get the following. Uh, So I get a hundred times one point one. Okay. And that gives me oops a hundred and ten dollars. Okay. So those are my two answers for this problem. Right. Uh, okay. Um, if you have any question, please comment below. Please subscribe. Uh, please click like or unlike. Uh, if you have any more uh, I, uh, problem for me to do, feel free to comment it. And that's pretty much it. I hope I answered the question. I really don't know what else to add about for this question. Okay. So have a good day. Bye.